purpose of Neuralink is to create a high bandwidth interface to the brain such that we can be symbiotic with AI. At the World Government Summit in Dubai, Musk said, Sometimes what will happen is a scientist will get so engrossed in their work that they don't really realize the ramifications of what they're doing. He believes that the only way to avoid human obsolescence is to have some form of union of biological intellect with computer intelligence. A neural lace, an injectable mesh that essentially hardwires your brain to speak directly with computers, could be used in this Vulcan mind meld. We're a cyborgs already. Your phone and computer are extensions of you, but the interaction is via sluggish finger motions or voice. A neural lace within your skull would wirelessly transmit data from your brain to your digital gadgets or practically infinite computing capacity in the cloud. I believe we're about four or five years away from a significant partial brain interface. Musk then unveiled a new brain-computer interface firm, seeking to implant a brain chip using a sewing machine-like technology, shortly after making the statements. Sounds very strange, but does it mean those humans might be able to upgrade their software system too? According to Musk, Neuralink would enable humans to compete with AI as well as help heal brain disorders, govern mood, and even allow people to listen to music straight from our chips. Musk made another public allusion to the Terminator in 2017, citing his neurotechnology business Neuralink, which aspires to produce brain implants for humans to connect with computers as a prophylactic measure against a danger like Skynet, the 1984 film's AI antagonist. That is the goal, to keep AI from becoming another, he remarked on Twitter. I like to keep an eye on what's going on with artificial intelligence, Musk added, you know, like the Terminator. There are potentially frightening consequences. Sometimes people don't realize that if Neuralink was not to do it, some other Chinese or Russian company would do it anyway. So it makes sense for the US to be more advanced in any technology that might become a game changer in the future. As AI becomes far smarter than humans, the relative IQ ratio will probably be close to, if not greater than, that of a person and a cat, Musk said to explain his point on AI's future. I believe we must exercise extreme caution as AI advances. Self-driving vehicles struggle in unexpected settings because many things come naturally to people, predicting a biker's movements and recognizing a plastic bag fluttering in the wind on the road which is incredibly difficult to teach a computer. Greater than human skills are a long way off. Musk wants the US authorities to address this issue and he said, I believe we should form a government committee to begin with insight and gather insight. Spends a year or two learning about AI or other potentially harmful technology, particularly AI. Then based on that understanding, develops regulations in conjunction with industry to ensure the safe implementation of AI. To make sure that we don't do anything terribly dumb, we are summoning the monster with artificial intelligence, he said. Although AI experts believe that artificial intelligence already helps us live longer lives and improves productivity in various businesses, humans are losing control of the technology, giving it power and capacities that mankind may never regain. Musk's warnings about the threats presented by AI have become harsher in recent years, earning criticism from Meta and Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, who called Musk's grim prophecies quite reckless. In response to Zuckerberg, Musk said that his fellow tech billionaire's comprehension of the danger presented by AI is limited. Musk was so determined to broadcast his AI concerns to the public that he paid for Do You Trust This Computer to be aired for free? During the movie's premiere, he said, It's a really significant issue. It will impact our lives in ways we can't even comprehend right now. Musk reaffirmed the same worries, although with less apocalyptic terminology. Elon Musk posted a tweet in April by saying, Nothing will affect the future of humanity more than digital superintelligence. He urged his followers to go see the movie and went on to say, The theme here is that AI may take a little bit to wrap its tentacles around a new talent, but once it does, it is unstoppable. Musk, though, is not alone in raising the alarm. AI academics at Oxford and UC Berkeley, as well as famous physicists such as Stephen Hawking, and many of the researchers producing innovative discoveries all agree with Musk that AI might be very hazardous. They are worried that we are aggressively striving to deploy robust AI systems and may do so under dangerous circumstances.
Musk explained how super-intelligent computers will come to govern the planet. Elon Musk angrily warns in the new documentary about artificial intelligence that these supercomputers may become an everlasting tyrant from whom humans would never escape. He believes that intelligent machines are already fundamentally changing our society by amassing personal data, advancing science and medicine, and creating new forms of superintelligence. We are fast approaching digital superintelligence that far transcends any human. I believe that is rather evident," Musk said in a documentary. Machine learning is the pinnacle of hyperreality. Because it is based on a process rather than the behavior of actual objects, even if it takes their behavior into account, its outcomes will seem as believable as reality, imitating reality without being a reality. That explains why Elon Musk, a hyper-real human operator, is keen to confirm his dread of the toolbox he is spending and why we should understand that his anxiety justifies the investment. This frames him and his company as humanitarians since their goal is to uncover and, presumably, prevent wicked applications of the instruments. So far, OpenAI has positioned itself as a military teacher, educating trainees to know the adversary. Musk is our guide to the future, casting us as hitchhikers in the cosmos. Despite this, he maintains that the problem still needs to be fully understood. My estimate of why highly brilliant people miss AI is because very smart individuals do not believe a machine can ever be as smart as they are. And this is arrogance, and it is patently untrue," he continued. We're on our way to a scenario in which AI is much more intelligent than humans, and I believe that time is less than five years away. However, this does not imply that everything will go to hell in five years, it just means that things become unstable or strange. The main question is, will it have net positive or net negative in the world we live in? A few years back, Elon broke his silence and summarized his reasons for leaving OpenAI in a tweet. I had to focus on solving a painfully large number of engineering and manufacturing problems at Tesla especially and SpaceX. Also, Tesla was competing for some of the same people as OpenAI and I didn't agree with what some of the OpenAI team wanted to do. Add that all up and it was just better to part ways for good. It's very hard to believe Elon Musk was even considering to be involved in OpenAI with so much headache with Tesla, SpaceX, and a few other cool startups on the side. Technology doesn't have to be perfect before it can be used in the real world. Musk showed that his engineers were developing Optimus, a humanoid robot that may someday handle global labor shortages and in the near term could move products around a plant. While some argue that using a humanoid robot to undertake risky and monotonous duties is precisely the incorrect strategy, there are not too many other options out there when you consider how hard it is to increase efficiency of factories and plants. The responsibilities that Tesla must do are well known. These operations, from lane identification to pedestrian monitoring and robot self-control, are performed in real time. Later that year, Musk reiterated his warning when appearing at the annual summer gathering in Washington, D.C. Elon Musk never tried to hide the fact that he is working on the most futuristic products and services. That is why some call him Iron Man.